Another day of dramatic testimony in the torture and murder trial of Anthony Avalos. A therapist, a therapist testifying she had grave concerns about how the boy's family was treating him. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero live now in downtown L.A. with more on today's testimony. Christian. Mark, it is one thing to draw the broad accusation that DCFS failed these children. Another thing entirely to try and understand how they fell through the cracks. Each of the people to testify today had some role in trying to protect Anthony and his siblings from their mother and her boyfriend. In a trial that focuses on what led up to Anthony Avalos's death, today much of the focus was on what happened to his siblings. In the last four years of Anthony's life, social workers, therapists, educators, and family members called the DCFS hotline to report potential child abuse, including therapist Wendy Wright, who in October 2014 said she saw nothing but anger towards those children. Verbal abuse, emotional abuse. She showed absolutely no affection towards any of them. Wendy testified today, calling the assessment she did on that family the most memorable of her career. To Raphael, she said, he's a little <laughs> He's just a punk. She told Raphael, get out of my face. She showed the court a safety plan Heather Barron agreed to, which was supposed to help her become a better parent. But she said that she had no confidence Heather would follow that plan, and that when she relayed that to the assigned social worker, she says he brushed her off. That social worker retired from DCFS and is not scheduled to testify. Another social worker, Anna Shortino, testified about her brief experience with Anthony as she was more focused on Anthony's brother, Angel. When Anna was assigned to the case as an emergency response social worker, she did not review the previous reports of suspected child abuse, of which there were five. During a scheduled visitation in 2015, Angel's dad noticed bruises, so Anna called the hotline. Mom says he fell in the shower. Child says he fell in the shower. Dad's freaking out. Oh, okay. we're but testified today she ultimately didn't have enough in medical records, interviews, or other documentation. Are you alleging more neglect or alleging more physical abuse by an unknown perpetrator? Or No. Which, what's, what's our allegation, would you say? <laughs> I know you have to have to put to something. cover our butt. I know. <laughs> to cover. You know, to remove the kids from the home. Prosecutors today asked Anna if she didn't take that allegation seriously. She said she wouldn't categorize it that way, that that was a necessary step in order to elevate it to people who could further investigate. It is worth noting that DCFS has added several reforms in the almost five years now since Anthony's death, and its handling did lead L.A. County to issue a $32 million settlement. We're Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.